Hi everyone and how's it going? It's Stealth and we're back with another video today. Hope you guys are doing great and living life to the fullest. Like we are back in full gear in regards to Minecraft news and information. Anything related to Minecraft, this is the spot, even if it's not like the biggest thing ever, which we're gonna be talking about Minecraft Dungeons today. We got a brand new DLC dropping in like the next week or so. And I know Minecraft Dungeons isn't like the hottest game ever. Like for whatever reason, it's just not getting the love and support that I feel like it deserves. It's a lot of fun, but Mojang already said that they're gonna continue to support this game for a long time. And I feel like you can tell, like they are pouring a lot of effort a lot of like energy into this game and it's just a blast so we'll be covering the new dlc titled howling peaks in today's video as well as some new changes coming to moderating minecraft so a lot of people are talking about this i don't know if it's really a good thing or a bad thing it seems like the community isn't really too happy with the moderating and the direction that mojang's heading with moderating minecraft so we'll be talking about that briefly in today's video but if you guys can do me a major favor and just be very supportive and crush the like button for me it'd be just amazing let's see if we can get over 35 likes in today's video don't forget to hashtag stealth army join the stealth army guys click that subscribe button and with that said let's kick things off with minecraft dungeons the Howling Peaks DLC is an action-packed trek to the mountaintop that features dazzling new armor, weapons, and artifacts. Of course, new enemies such as the Squall Golem and Mountaineer await along the way as well. No one said it would be easy. Atop it all is the source of the stormy conflict, the Tempest Golem that has been corrupted by a shard from the Orb of Dominance. There are many new features and foes that will be highlighted up until the release. So keep an eye on our dedicated Minecraft Dungeons Twitter handle for behind the scenes look. With the season pass, you'll have access to the next four DLCs as soon as they become available, including Howling Peaks. Plus, you'll get them at a discount compared to purchasing each separately. Each DLC will include new levels, unique items, new parts of the story, and even more puzzles and mysteries to unlock. Don't miss a beat with the season pass. Of course, even if you don't purchase the Howling Peaks DLC or season pass, there is always new free content for you to enjoy. With this update, you'll get six free enchantments, all of which have the potential to totally change the way you play the game. The free update and the Howling Peaks DLC and the new season pass are all available on December 9th. To learn more about these offers and how to get the DLC pack for your platform of choice, visit Minecraft Dungeons website. So I've actually already done a couple giveaways for Minecraft Dungeons, and I might do some more once we actually hit the release date, December 9th. So more than likely, I'll be playing it and streaming it on this channel or my Twitch channel. I'll let you guys know more once we get closer. And I should be able to get some codes from Mojang, so fingers crossed, and I'll give some away because I really want people to be able to play this and enjoy it. And I know a lot of people just don't have the money right now to be able to, you know, buy this game or buy the DLC. So I'm gonna try and help out the Stealth Army as much as possible. And I really want you guys to, you know, come through, you know, watch the stream and see if you like the game or not. Just be open-minded. It's really awesome and a lot of fun. And more than likely, you know, we might see some features from Minecraft Dungeons from this update make its way to 1.17. It wouldn't be the first time, right? And it probably will not be the last time. But let's go ahead and check out another article in regards to the moderation going on with Minecraft. Moderating Minecraft plays at the heart of everything we do, but safety comes first. Yes, even before play. To this end, Mojang Studios enlist the help of moderators who work tirelessly to maintain Minecraft's welcoming environment. This is work we've been doing for a long time but we've recently added new moderation actions to the Bedrock version of Minecraft. These tools are meant to help ensure that all of our players continue to feel as safe as possible within Minecraft and Realms on Xbox One, PS4, Nintendo Switch, Windows 10, iOS, and Android. So what's new? Minecraft moderators can now ban players who do not follow our community guidelines when sending online messages using our services, which include Realms and other featured servers and communicating online through signposts and books. Of course, the content of a single player game is not moderated. Currently, moderators can hand out permanent bans that extend to all versions of Minecraft, except Minecraft Dungeons. 
in order to target severe offenses meant to cause harm to others, which is never acceptable. We are also working on introducing temporary bans for lesser offenses. When a user is banned, they will receive a message specifying the reason as well as information on how they can cancel their Realm subscription. For more details, including examples of severe offenses, please visit Minecraft Help Center. By introducing these new tools, we aim to ensure that our community guidelines are enforced, which in turn will help us provide a positive and enjoyable environment throughout our games. And there's even more to come. We are constantly evaluating new ways to help us make our community a safer space for everyone. And we'll keep you updated on the progress. In the meantime, please be nice to each other. Which I agree, like, we can always work on making the community safer and more positive. And it looks like, especially with all the growth in Minecraft, I mean, the gaming industry is booming lately as a result of COVID and just people realizing how fun games are. You know, more people are indoors, more people are gaming and playing Minecraft. There's a lot of people playing on servers now, a lot of new people playing on Minecraft, just, you know, a lot of growth. And I think they realize with all of these new people, comes a lot of like hate a lot of negativity a lot of toxicity you know there's just a lot of things going on that they really can't control so i think they're just looking at ways to moderate all of the new players all of you know just people playing in different servers and realms so i don't really see this as anything bad i think it's sort of necessary at this point considering minecraft is like the number one game in history and it's only growing it's getting bigger we're getting bigger updates and the community is just really large now. So this definitely seems fair. I guess it just really depends on how they go about things. But let me know what you guys think about moderating on Minecraft. Is it fair? Also, let me know what you guys think about Minecraft Dungeons. Is it a dead game? Do you guys see it being like really hot in the future? Um, with that said, I really appreciate you guys. Notification squad, y'all are the best. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.